Hello everyone, this is KJPC Gaming. Welcome back to No Man's Sky. This happens every time I go. <laughs> I figure we just start with the violence. Just get it out of the way. Welcome to Opinu's Colony, and welcome to Let's Play No Man's Sky. If you are new to the game, that weapon is a scatter blaster. And you should have one. Oh, look, the, one of the barrels is in one of the boxes. <laughs> that was a good catch. Good catch. All right, uh, after we do some colony stuff, we're gonna try to get to the build. Um, I don't think that uh, building on video is helping me build. In fact, it's very, very confusing. Don't I have some ongoing construction project? I actually don't remember. And, uh, it's been a really long time since I was here. All right. Uh, did I yet get <laughs> some more hovercraft? Yes, I did. Okay, so what do I got here? Is just the roamer, right? No, I've got the roamer and the nomad. All right. And so we can add to that the pilgrim. Oh, what do I need? The hydrogen jelly and metal plating. So let's go to my office. Uh, actually, the market, huh? I don't need to teleport away. The market has a galactic trade terminal in it. There we go. Uh, no, I could get metal plate. Here we go. I should be carrying some of that. Um, the hydrogen, on the other hand, that might be a little bit more tricky. Oops, backwards. There we go. Let's see here. There's 255 I could have used. <laughs> Let's just make sure I don't have any actual jelly put away. That is also deuterium. I don't think that I did yet put any jelly away because I was still just dealing with uh, the one thing. Let's see here. There we go. All right, back over here. Since Expeditions 3, the motorcycle has become my new uh, favorite. And uh, I really enjoy that aspect of Expeditions 3. I am considering, I am thinking, making thoughtful notions. <laughs> Um, towards possibly um, doing Expeditions 3 on video. I've got a couple of weeks to make that decision. It only takes me three hours to do it. So, um, unless I'm working with lava, in which case it takes, you know, four. <laughs> I did just blame lava for my last performance in Expeditions 3 which was three hours and 59 minutes, but I gotta be honest with you, I did a super duper amount of whining. <laughs> I was very frustrated. All right, how are we doing, kids? Is everybody behaving? There's a construction opportunity. Still B-class, still two negatives. Still 29 citizens. All right, let's see if the, the construction project will make them happy. Um, approve a marketplace. I already have one. 
approve a warehouse. Citizens have submitted renderings for the development of, oh, that finger of mine, um, for the uh, development of both a new storage unit and a retail forum. Data indicates 58% or 54% approval rating for the storage. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do because we already have a market. I'm glad the citizens agree with me. Somebody needs to cut that finger of mine off. There we go. All right, let's go find out uh, what ridiculous absurdity we have to do um, to build this warehouse. First of all, where is the construction site? How does one tell? <laughs> I guess we'll just like turn on the flashlight, which is useless, and run around looking for under construction zone. Uh, this looks like an under construction zone over here, but just barely. Oh, I'm walking right into it. Hey dude, you need more security walls. That is unsafe. All right, what do you want? 140 pure ferrite, done deal. How many hours do you need for that? Just the one, done deal. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I am nurturing an egg of type I cannot remember. All right. We did what you wanted to do and we'll take that and put it on the freighter because I don't want to deal with it today. Uh, although I do have, I think I do have a frigate mission. Oh, goody. The storm is clearing. <laughs> Here we go. I don't think I have anything in any of these vehicles. No. I don't even have the appropriate um, technology yet for those. And that is, I think, something we can do. We have 30,000 nanites. Okay, freighter first, anomaly second. Catch up on the build at Zauber third. should already be right here. Here it is. Stop talking because I was concentrating on being cool. <laughs> Alrighty, let's see here. Now then, uh, what kind of ships do I have now? <laughs> Things happen. Oh yes, I kept that ship because it's so nice. What is that thing? That thing doesn't belong. One of these things is not like the others. Pretty sure it's not mine. <laughs> I'm always afraid now. I'm always afraid there won't be a deck there. <laughs> Hello. There's a full and complete mission. Money, 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 nitrogen salt. It's a full and complete, very short mission. I am trying to get their points uh, up as best I can so that they can go on better missions. Uh, you know, it kind of looks like we need to do some combat missions. Let's see. Um, that mission. There we go. We need some points of combat. Our 
Combat ship is only at 20. We also need points of industry, but that will come later on. Bye, guys. Have a good day. <laughs> Let's go over to the anomaly and see if I can buy that technology for the exocraft. I don't know if I can make it though. I might be able to. I did get like a huge number of technologies. Uh, one of the last couple of times that I went to the anomaly. Uh, for the purpose of building our future stasis device farms. Sneeze. <laughs> Alrighty. You know, I must say, I the building... The parts are beautiful. It would be super awesome if they would snap to each other. <laughs> like, I know we like we needed a different way of looking at it. Oh God, I passed right by it. Uh, we needed a different way of snapping for sure. Um, and the new parts are one thing, but. Um, I find it very difficult to get anything to snap without using a wire. And I, I understand that, you know, the update is awesome and amazing for builders, but the rest of us would like to use the parts too. <laughs> without having to become builders. All right, I got all that, I got all that, and I have all that. Oh my gosh, I can equip a uh, exocraft. Check it and get our free receiver and see if I made any discoveries last week. I try not to go to this guy more than once a week. We got creatures discovered. We're always going to have those. Look at that. 1,600 nanites worth. It's because most of our nanites were made from doing zoology. Um, did he give me a receiver? He did. Woohoo! I think I have a single milestone of survival, maybe. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, actually I have five, 250 uh, Quicksilver, five milestones. That's pretty cool. I don't really know why I came all the way downstairs. I think it's because I'm curious. Uh, oh, it is pirates. Uh, and it is for uh, Quicksilver, so let's go do it, because it only takes like a second. Or maybe two minutes. So Quicksilver is one thing I'm quite low on, and um, I feel like the new game mechanic of sharing Quicksilver items has just made doing Quicksilver missions much less interesting. I know I can't be the only one that's thinking that. There they are. Quite far away. Wow, they are super duper far. <laughs> oh, the season didn't change. The season change is making things uh, very sneezery. Oh boy, there's a rock in my way. <laughs> Not a lot of people do the single shot thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. Yeah, there's more. <laughs> there they are.
<laughs> I'm making fireworks. Woohoo! <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> that was fun. There we go. I got all my goodies. Return to the anomaly. <laughs> uh, I think we will go and uh, put that technology on... Uh, I think we'll put it on the Nomad. The Nomad seems to be the easiest of the Exocraft um, to um, steer. <laughs> if steering is something that you bother to do, <laughs> just put me in the general direction and I'll slide in there. I'll slide there. <laughs> Complete O. Woohoo! There is, there has been some progress um, up here. It's not going by very quickly. I gotta be honest with you. We're at 60%. It looks like, uh, possibly, if I can reach that high end of my keyboard. Uh, community research: 65% of four items, and um, yeah, you only have to do Quicksilver on one save now. So what's the point, you know? But I gotta be honest with you, the rewards personally that you can gain from doing Quicksilver items are much greater than it, just doing it on one save and sharing it across all saves. Uh, it seems like a good idea, but then you take a whole aspect of the game away. So I don't know if it's such a great idea. On the base on Zalber, I am designing um, a couple of different levels, and um, one of the ones that I've got just right on the verge of being ready for knickknacks is the bar. Yes, there's a bar. Of course there's a bar. Hello? Hello? Okay. All is quiet on the western front. <laughs> Where's my office? <laughs> I don't need my office. I need my exocraft. That's not it. Nomad. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Uh, as I recall, I was in fact able to put all of them in uh, that one. Then that one. And then that one. I don't know if they buff each other at all. I just put them in that way just in case they do. <laughs> Plus 100% scan. That's all it says. <laughs> as far as I know, there's no scanner upgrades. Now this scanner is great for everything. There's trade posts. That's, that's awesome. That's actually new since the last time I used one. Uh, Resource depots, drop pods, abandoned structures, ruins, and monoliths. Um, I think this is this one right here is kind of overdoing it. But yeah, there they are, trade posts. I still suggest that you get the economy scan on your ship and do it that way anyway because you need your ship to get to a trade post usually. What are your thoughts on that subject? Nothing? Okay. Here we go. Let's go back to the anomaly, and from there, we will go to Zalber. Zalber is a planet in the capital system of Amadeus in the UAS in Hilbert. And we are building a second base there. We co-built a base there with uh, lava on a different save. So 
Hopefully the sun will come up shortly. And let's see, uh, let me check and make sure really quickly. I had some difficulty with building and I think it's possible, or it seems possible. Oh, I still don't have the Minotaur. I don't have any, any salvage data at all, but I do want to check. I have all of that. It's wood, wood, concrete, metal. Uh, yeah, this part in concrete, let me see if I can find it, uh, sloping stone panel, that shape that perfectly fits in the roof does not appear to exist. Well, we'll look again once I get there. I need to go uh, hunting for data still a number of things I don't have. I have everything that I need uh, for this build, I think, except that uh, one of the parts doesn't seem to be quite right. Uh, my bases, uh, did I even name it? Well, then Stein, let's try space stations, Amadeus, there we go. I don't think I named that base yet. I haven't uh, uploaded it either. And usually when you're on a big planet like that, you want to upload at least a few walls uh, so that no one will build uh, too close to you. All right, welcome back to the UAS. Now I've got a Beatles song in my head. <laughs> All right. Uh, yep. I think that's it right there. Appears as though there's a purple base nearby. I hope it's not too close to my base, because like I said, I haven't pre-uploaded it, you know. Of course, that could be hundreds of miles apart. There's a few settlements here. I don't know if they're being worked on. I don't think I've ever visited anyone else's settlement. The Cosmic Chalice, I'm not familiar with that one, I don't think. It is nighttime. I think we will go ahead and rename this base while I'm here. Let's take a look at it. Bring up that beautiful blue sky. And here we go. So this is what I have built so far. Uh, I think I ran out of glass. <laughs> we might go create a glass cave. That uh, building that's inside of the big building is the bar. And it has a balcony over the top of it for a different part of the build. For It's a viewing balcony to look out the windows. So I started on that and I built this little area under here as well. And all of this has been done since I tried to build the bar. <laughs> I tried to build the bar on video, but it didn't work out <laughs> for various and sundry reasons, some of them which involve cussing. <laughs> I also have not yet built, put in a landing pad. We should probably do that before I kill all the trees on the property. <laughs> I forgot to sit in my ship. 
Um, when you come to a planet like this, a big sieve, where there's a lot of really complex bases, there are a lot of really complex bases here. Um, you should sit in your ship for just a just a few seconds, give the give everything time, uh, because you can definitely have issues. Here's something that we need right here, and we will use metal. Oh, that's a much nicer transition. But going up to the floor up there, the base of the floor is made of um, archways. And archways don't match the floor height exactly, so there's a little bit of uh, stubbing your toe going on. And uh, I'm sure there's a way to fix it. Maybe putting in this doorway fixed it? It might have. That was my first attempt. Yeah, that seems to have fixed it pretty well. So we have uh, this big space still, and there's going to be more to it. I should probably turn on my light so you can see. And then there's the computer. Uh, let's uh, give this a name that I will recognize. Uh, Hilbert UAS Lights. Let's play. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, and there's stairs here that go down to this area. I've refilled in some of this soil for effect. That's just exposed to the air. Uh, I've only got these windows, and here is stairwell down to this area. I would like to do columns, but uh, we don't have any such piece that I'm aware of. I might be able to get creative with one of the pieces we do have and make it look like a column. And by column, I mean Greek or Roman. This kind of has a sense of that down here. So here's the edge of that. You can see through to the power. Uh, did I give up on that? Or was that the piece I couldn't place? Uh, oh, this is the piece that I can't place because it's directly under the stairs. Yeah, I have to work on that. All right, let's go to the bar. I, uh, I went with stone right here because the only piece that I could find that matched that angle for the roof uh, gable was stone and it looked kind of cool. So I decided to go ahead and just make this whole part of the wall stone. And there's a vented roof up there. And now we are in the bar, and thus the reason for the vented roof. Well, there's more reasons than that. <laughs> uh, this was kind of cool. Um, this is actually a corner work table, and it just naturally sinks into the wall. Uh, let's see if I can find it easily. It would be in here. <laughs> There we go, so uh, I'll step out of the way here and go into build camera. Uh, so I just had that corner work table and I just uh, sunk it into the wall so that only the table was above there. And uh, we'll see about being able to pla uh, place cups and uh, bottle looking objects there. Here's the bar. It's a S-shaped bar. The bar, one of the bars that my dad used to work in, there was a list, little area, and this is where the waitress comes to get the drinks. So we'll, we're going to need a tray here for the drinks. And I would like it to not sink in. 
but it appears to be determined to do so. Uh, it doesn't sink in over there. That's interesting. Uh, something else I'm going to have to figure out. I wish the sun would come up. I don't have the work light. And so maybe if I just look in that direction and then uh, go into build camera. There we go. Oh, uh, let's see here. We do need a tap at least one. At least one. Depends on how many kinds of gras you want. I don't know how many kinds of gras there are, but I know how many kinds I want. <laughs> Yeah, it looks kind of cool. Uh, we need ashtrays. <clears throat> make these, make this tiny. Oh, which one is tiny? F? I need to sneeze. <clears throat> F is tiny. Wait, it's sinking in. Oh, that's that kind of bar. Yeah. All right. That's just the way that bar is. Oh, it sits above on this side, so we'll put that there. All right. The tumblers. That's way bigger than an ashtray, but that's okay. Oh, fantastic. They do fit here just have to be like super particular see I can't set it like right on top it blends in it would be kind of cool though if I could trick it into sitting up higher wait what is that doing I don't even know what that's sitting on <laughs> let's see <laughs> I need to have one of these over here. Uh, a little bit more personal sized. <laughs> flasks. Flasks makes flasks make pretty good bottles. But look at the size of the tumbler. <laughs> Well, we are going to have to come back to this another time. That looks pretty good. It's not terrible for free placement. I mean, <laughs> considering... I sure would like to see, like, this thing close up, but not through the visor. It's very, very uh, interesting and intricate. It's certainly certainly is not a teapot <laughs> let's get the sun out and uh, see if any of it comes through uh, into here it comes through that window over there pretty nicely oops trippy uh, up all right you guys that was too up far too up down there we go there's a picture of me and my bar you can't even see the bar behind me I want to thank you all so much for coming along uh, if you're new to the channel then please consider subscribing um, those coordinates down there in the lower left corner are for the capital planet Zalber in the capital system Amadeus of the new Hilbert uh, Union of Allied Systems, all are welcome to come. There's tons of planets here. 
Uh, I want to thank you all so much for coming along. If you're enjoying the content, please click the like button. And as always, have an amazing day.